My whole life as a professional is about lifelong learning and responding to opportunities. Okay, so this is glass half full. The different, you know, offers that I had, um, which were totally out of the blue, unplanned, could have been looked, up, you know, uh, looked at as um, issues, as challenges, right? But instead, a glass half full lens made me look at it as opportunity. I graduated in accounting, right? I'm a chartered accountant by training. How did I end up doing human capital or human resources, right? So I transcended five industries. So five different industries, totally new, right? Absolutely no experience in every one of those industries. But that wasn't the only challenge I had to face. All the jobs were also totally new to me. I had no paper qualification, no experience in any of the jobs that were offered to me. Even teaching for that matter, when I was offered to teach. But Alhamdulillah, why was I offered, right? How did people notice me? It's because of learning. I wasn't arrogant. Of course I grabbed the opportunity when someone offers you. But I could have been stupid because I could have failed. When my, my angels, I called them my angels, the people who offered me these jobs, they had all the right intentions and they wanted me to succeed, of, of course. But none of them had the plan to train me out. <laughs> to, yeah? Because all these jobs, I was like, okay, get in there and achieve. Get in there and achieve. It was up to me to, number one, not be arrogant. Because, hey, I've got the job already, right? So I could just strut in and pretend that I know everything. So instead, I started like what? I started like, what is this all about? Like when I was offered HR, right? I, in fact, asked uh, Tan Sri when he asked me for, you know, whether I wanted to join, right? When he said it was HR, I said, but I've never done HR. So I studied and then I watched and observed, right? And then it's about logic, right? It's about practical bringing your whole self into the application of the learning. Because that's my second point. You can learn, but you still don't know how to apply it well and use it to solution in issues, problem statements that the world needs today. Right. So it's about being practical and having resilience, right? Because of course it's not all blue skies. I can't sit here and tell you, oh, it was a breeze just because I was learning and I was, you know, positive. I succeeded. No, I'm sorry, right? Life's not like that. <laughs> a lot of learnings, a lot of mistakes. But the mistakes I made wasn't with bad intention, right? So I knew how to pick myself up. So everyone is learning. It's about resilience as well. Know where you get your strength. Know where you can pull, your, pull yourself up, right? If you fall, right? That has to come together. It's all about learning, right? Um, now, NTW, it started last year at a very, very good place. It's got the math. It's got the diversity. It's got so much potential. Now, you need to go in there, right, to find out how to realize, because potential is latent. It's just there, right? Now, you have to get in there and find where you can realize these potentials for yourself. What would you, you know, want for your next, you know, face in life, right? You need to start thinking about that. If you're successful, right, how to make yourself even more successful for others. So it's time for outward focus, right? Generosity mindset. How to make sure you bring more people to a higher level, you know, upward mobility and so forth. So even if you say you're successful, you still need to come. And if you are on the opposite end, in your doldrums, oh my God, can things get worse, right? This is perfect, right? Get in there and learn and observe and see where your opportunities might be. And here you have a platform that's free. I can't phantom that. So again, congratulations to HRD Corp to, you know, for putting this together. My goodness, if you don't come and you don't take advantage, there's really something wrong with, with you. Oh.